this time on Custom Works. We got the meat wagon, we got the completed A40, and now that I have a thousand subscribers, stay to the end. I'm releasing some merch. Let's get to the merch shop, workshop. Need some dental work, and luckily, we've got a whole set of teeth for it. If you remember back in um, in a previous episode, that was a long time ago now. I made this um, tooth out of plaster and stuff, and then we made a mould for it, and we've moulded off all of these teeth. And all of these teeth, in the end, will be done in like a chrome paint effect, and they're going to look awesome. But for now, what we need to do is get them so they fit in that grill. The whole thing is removable so we can glass it all together and make it uh, nice and strong. And all straight for the car and looking cool. So first off, we're gonna bond these on and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and just super glue them or at least mitre fix them to these two battens that I've attached in here. And these are two just thin plywood battens, but it gets, it will get all the teeth in the right order, in the right place, I'll be able to take it out, glass the back, then it's strong, and we'll be able to take it in and out for maintenance or painting or whatever. So, I'm gonna try and just glue all these in and do it by eye, and I'm sure it's all gonna turn out fine. <laughs> So, there we are, super glued it all together to these quite thin bits of plywood. Of course, this a car grill doesn't make. So what I'm going to do is glass all of these to this and then this should be nice and strong and actually usable as a grill. So um, I'll get this on the bench, get some fiberglass out and make this a little bit stronger. So, last night I put a load of high build primer on this, but it's all dry this morning and what I'm going to be doing is flattening this off. I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but my god, this is rough. Look, we got faults in the gel coat there, um, oh, it's just angle grinder marks here, lots of angle grinder marks from sculpting the front out with the grinder. So there really is a lot to sand. So just to recap, technically what I've done here, I've used a 2K, so that's two part, like a professional, um, you've got to have your paint and the activator in it, two part um, primer, and it's a super high build stuff, so this is going to be like a millimetre thick or something, you know, I really laid it on. Then I'm going to use 120 and 240 grit, I'm going to get all this smooth, and all these small holes I'll skim over with stopper, and then we're somewhere closer to it being right. I will be priming this again, but as it is, I always use 40 grit paper, and then to get it from 40 grit smooth, using the high build primer is a great shortcut, so you don't have to work through grades. And don't forget, it's not like I'm just putting a new wing on a car, DAing it off and painting it. I've made 
all of this. There's no one else to blame but me. So it does take a little bit more um, sort of finessing to get that professional finish. Another reason for doing this sort of now in time in the project, like some other parts of the project, like up on the roof here, I still just raw filler and fiberglass. I'm not, I barely touched up there. But why I'm doing this is I'm going to have to turn the whole meat wagon round and at that end of this tent, things get a little bit wet. So what I'm hoping is I'll get this smoothed out and primed and then if this part of the bonnet does get a few drops on it, it's going to be okay. It's not going to make any real big difference to the final finish. Also, in today's, I'm going to call it the Flatathon, um, is the grill. Um, the grill came out a lot better. Um, this mould, you know, just was a lot cleaner. And these, these are pretty good. Although, I will be flattening them off. And I bet, even on just these, I bet there's like 150 pinholes to fill before these get painted. And don't forget, these are going to be painted in a chrome effect paint. So these have got to be quite good. Right, these have got to be excellent. Car is going to be more of a rat rod. So the perfect finish on that, it's not going to be gloss black or anything. It's not going to be absolutely there it's got to be all right though but yeah these have got to be perfect because these will be the gleaming front grill of the meat wagon so today all i'm going to be doing is sanding 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 all these bits are primed by the end of today i should have them sanded down and stop it so i'll sand this up and i'll see you all when it's stopper time yes I've done days and days and days of sanding and there's still loads of that left. At the moment what I've done, I sanded everything down and got it nearly there, primed it. Wow, while the prime was dry, I realized I was nowhere near. So now I've reprimed it, I'm gonna flat this down, plenty of stopper, plenty of sanding, then I'm gonna go over it in another coat of primer and then it should be about ready for some kind of paint. So we've got the car turned around in the gazebo. Um, of course now this end is weatherproof and if any rain gets on it, it'll be fine. Ever. <laughs> That's still a big hole there. And there's all of this to do. Still plenty to do on the meat wagon, but it's getting there. And hey look, here's the grill in primer. <laughs> okay then. Let's get out on the road, see how the A40 drives and take a look at all its quirks and features. Right, so this is it. A40 project is finished and we're going for a test drive. So do a bit of driving around and then we'll get some lovely shots. Right, let's fire it up, take it for a ride. So the A40, all finished, all ready to go. If you've been following this project from the start, you know, the amount of work we have to do. This bonnet's been cut in half to fit. Lots of work around the front. Also, to get this wing to fit to this door, you know, the amount of fiberglass and the amount of work that went into this. This old fiberglass body was just not very good. Made all the seals for the doors, and now the car's a lot quieter and nicer inside feels like a car rather than it all sort of rattling around. Also made the whole bed. There was no bed on this car when we got it. Uh, I think that came out pretty good as well. Got the old school like bonnet pins to hold it down. And we've also got these, uh, these plates just here that are removable. So you can adjust the uh, spring hanger setting to adjust the rear suspension on that. Remove the fuel filler to here made all of this rear valance and French those lights in in a cool old school way and of course on a car that had no interior at all we made all the dash hot rodding legend Lee Cox wired everything everything soldered and shrink wrapped this is this is a good solid car now so on the back here uh, this car's got a tow bar and it's got this drop plate on it that you can't see and just with these two allen bolts we can take the number plate off and then we put the number plate light on a plug as well so that's removable 
and then everything's behind there. But just so you don't have to see the ugly tow bar at the back, uh, this has been a really neat solution. Right, and at the back here then, so we did this aluminium tornu cover that lifts up nicely on its gas rams. And I'm thinking there's quite a bit of room in there for a bit of shopping or whatever. Um, so it's practical as well. This truck's just like win-win. Hey, remember when I thought this was all gonna be really easy and like a nice quick turnaround and an easy job back when we first got the car? So on this car, I cannot tell you how, how difficult it's been and how much more work than I thought and the only thought that this was gonna be. Um, we have literally had to go through every single thing on this car. Like I say, it's been really difficult. So let this be a lesson learned when uh, browsing for an unfinished project that um, sometimes all is not what it seems. Having said all of that, now it's finished. It looks awesome. I'm totally happy with it. It was, it was really worth it for all that trauma, all that work, you know, it's, it's kept a really cool car on the road. So I am ecstatic. on cars like me you might be thinking why do I spend all my money on car parts and like cakes well now there's something even better to spend your money on these brand new custom works t-shirts made with real cotton featuring Paul Bacon's custom works sign on the front and then on the back it says you, I won't drive what you tell me, just like the Rage Against the Machine song. Buy now, limited stock available. Easy to wear, in the workshop environment, in your car, on your speedboat, in your home, garden or caravan. Suitable to wear at weddings, funerals, bar mitzvahs or just general parties. Available from the Etsy store. Details below. So what am I going to be doing today? I'm going to be feeling the quality. Get yours now! Limited stock available. Now, genuinely, I've only had 12 printed, so I don't know how good this is going to go, but get it now! Okay then, so, the non-standard is now in another owner's hands. So, it's going. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> So that's it, a car has gone. But as one car goes, more cars are gonna come, ain't there? It's time to buy more cars, oh definitely. Let's buy some cars, get some projects on the go. Hey. One last thing, congratulations to Jack and Abby at Jack Shack on the announcement of their first child. A very many congratulations to you both. That really is it. Thank you very much. Have a good night.